If we talk about structure from motion processing, I think that masking is a really nice tool to simplify the processing of the alignment and of the dense point cloud building inside the structure from motion software. Basically, masking means that you tell the software which part of each image of the data set that you'd like to process needs to be processed. Each mask applies to each image of the data set and define what uh, the software is going to take in account and what the software is going to discard from st starting from the alignment of the images. Masking uh, applies, sometimes masking is mandatory if you try and reconstruct, uh, 3D reconstruct uh, some some objects uh, maybe on a turntable uh, but masking is always useful in other situation maybe when you are when you when you took pictures of some kind of environment situation and you'd like to define better define the area that you'd like to uh, to process in order to uh, get rid of a lot of stuff that you don't want the software to process in this video I'd like to show you how the software 3D Flow Zephyr handles the masking. There is a tool, a separate tool, but is strictly connected to the engine of the software, which is called Masquerade, that allows you to build mask for the image, images that you like to process. So this is a, a project that I that I, I launched inside Zephyr. I uh, had the software made the alignment and the dance point cloud. This is these are just six pictures, and actually they're not good pictures at all. Uh, but the purpose was uh, building this the 3D model of this facade of this building here, and that seemed fine. But if I rotate the model, I, I can you can see that there are parts here that are not of course part of this building and also part here over there that are not part of this building and if we check the pictures that i processed we can see basically what happened and how and why this happened so let's go through the images and these are the images that i uploaded inside zephyr as you can see there are uh, there, these are pictures of this facade, but in these pictures there are a lot of information uh, that are around these buildings. Closer here, but really far over there. So in this picture, the software uh, was able to find tie points in this part of the pictures, pictures from pictures, because there was there there, there was enough overlapping between these pictures, and it built some tie points here and then he, he built also some dance point cloud uh, some points of the dance point cloud here and the purpose of this video is um, showing you how to mask these images in order to process just this part of the building this is uh, a very first video about masking inside zephyr with masquerade there are a really nice tool inside Masquerade that allows you to better define and precisely define the, the area that you'd like to, to, to mask. Um, this is not the case. I'm just to show you how basically this algorithm works uh, in order to have the mask. Um, but I, I hope that it would be useful for you. So uh, let's get rid of this, uh, this project and let's start a new project starting from zero. So workflow new project if you'd like to uh, have the picture masked somehow if you like to access the masquerade tool you have to check this this box here mask images in additional options mask images this way you're telling the software that the pictures that you're going to process uh, needs need to be somehow linked to a mask so if you hit next the software, of course, uh, is going to ask for the images. Uh, just select the images that you like to process. Hit open. And uh, these are the images. Hit next. And this is a new window that pops up. In this window, the software is checking for masks linked to each of these images. And it didn't find anyone. 
so it's just saying listen i've got these pictures that you just sent me but i didn't find any mask for each picture so the status is not found this status is uh that the status stands for looking and finding for masking so here you have the options for launching mask rate maybe refreshing we're gonna do refresh later but you have the chance to launch mask rate mask rate is this kind of tool that is a separate tool inside zephyr but is strictly connected to the to the main engine in this tool you have the option to mask images um, there are several tools here uh, that allows you to really better define the masking but the in this video i'd like to show you how basically it works and i'm going to use just these two tools two tools is to paintbrush red paintbrush and blue paintbrush if you paint with red you're, you're telling the software that you'd like to keep in the processing that part of the images if you paint with blue you're telling the software that you don't want that part of the image to be taken in account in the processing so if i'd like to uh to to work just with this part of the building i just hit here on the red brush tool you can uh define the brush sites i'm going with the maximum one and just click and drag and paint over the area that you like to to keep when you've done you have to select the blue nothing happens until you select a uh, red and blue area click on blue and just paint all over the area that you like to get rid of in the alignment processing and that's it when you when you finished the blue painting release the left bottom of your mouse and the software starts the processing of masking and after a while it will not take so much after a while he has finished and he's he's saying you okay considering what you have painted in these images i found that these are the area that you'd like to keep and these are the area that you would want to get rid of so these red highlighted areas of these images are the areas that the software will take in account in the in the processing that's not finished yet you have to save here uh, you can you have two options save or save and go to next um, it's the same basically but you have to save so you have to save the masking so just click save a new process starts and as you can see here in this images in this image that you have masked there's a new uh, information here there's an m inside brackets that means that this picture has been masked and there's a mask related to that file so uh, let's go through the other images and basically you have to do the same thing that we've just done for the first images for the other five images so main area and the, the background of course i'm gonna go really really fast here and um, there's a masking at the end of the process the software will mask for me is okay i'm gonna save and go to next images um let's suppose that you for instance uh mask something that you didn't want to mask for the part to take in account you have the chance to undo you undo all the process of course and you start again and that's nice and that's for the background too i'm gonna paint all everything i don't wanna don't wanna take in account in for the alignment processing and at the end of this process the software will calculate the mask for this image okay uh, as you can see here there are part that i i better prefer to have in the not taking account images so just hit the blue button and just paint over these areas the software will update the selection it's a kind of a selection yes the software will update selection and will give you back another mask also here there's something that i'd like to take in account so i'm gonna switch to the red brush tool i'm gonna just paint here um i should remove this area but i'm gonna i'm gonna go faster here so uh, let me say that this is the the method and i don't i'm, I'm gonna go uh, through each of these images 
very 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 in detail so save and next once you've done with all your images just save the last one you can go through each of them to uh, refine or better define the masking and that's it you can uh, you can quit the masquerade tool but let me say before quitting that here you just have a lot of tools that really allows you to a precise masking for instance you have here tools that clear the mask and all the strokes you here you can copy the current mask to next images uh, or you can copy the current mask to all the next images you can have a multiple selection um, a, a, a different selection tool sorry you have the a kind of an algorithm that is uh, really useful for turntable photographies photographic acquisition and uh, so here a lot of there's a lot of tools that uh, are really useful for a quick masking Process, processing before because um, I think that it's clear that if you have 6, 10, 20 images you can manually mask all these images but if you have 100, 200 images of a really ob a, a object that you have taken that you have pictures of taken from a still camera um, it's much more uh, time demanding uh, for if, if you try to mask manually each of these images so when you, once you've done just hit close and nothing happened here because uh, you didn't uh, link the the mask file to the to the image file if you open the 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 folder where you have stored your images uh, the software once while you were proceeding in the masking operation inside masking the software uh, built this dot baa am file for each of these images this is the masking file uh, and this is the file that the software will look for uh, in order to try and mask the images so you gotta hit refresh that's it it found the mask and the status uh, now it's loaded in green now next and this is the the same Mm, the, the same settings that we've just saw in the previous video and hit next and the software will start the alignment I'm gonna switch to the any process where I just have the software made the alignment and the dance cloud so that's it uh, this is the the result of the of the processing this is the dance point cloud these are the position of the cameras and as you can see there is nothing behind the building because i masked just this part of the building and there's nothing behind of course this is not uh, a very accurate or precise masking it's just the purpose for showing you how it works um, of course you could have done the alignment of all the pictures and then resizing the bounding box or the, the region uh, in order to have the software just processing what was inside the region volume uh, but this was in this video i'd like to show you how masking works um, so what you have here is that you just have the the results of what you are you you were interested in if i switch to uh, cloud compare where i uploaded the two point clouds the two dance point cloud one that is from the no masking images processing and the other is from from the masked images processing as you can see uh, if i uh, make invisible the masking dance cloud the mask dance cloud here you can see that there is of course there's the this part of the building and but there's also a lot here behind the building this kind of a hilly area and there's something even here much closer to the building but it was not very important for me if I make this point cloud if I make the masking dance cloud visible this the the file has been added to this view and now if I make the this point cloud the no masking dance cloud invisible what you have is just basically the dance point cloud that is related to the building so it is it is what you have just decided to mask and to keep during the processing the nice thing of masking is that masking applies uh, from the very first step so masking applies from the alignment picture alignment you can resize the the region but you need to align all the picture 
if you mask the picture, um, the area that are masked will not take in account and nothing will be uh, looked for there. No, no features point, no key points will be, will be scouted in that areas and the process will be much more faster. Of course, masking is really, you have to mask pictures if you are trying to make a 3D reconstruction of an object over a timetable. Um, we, you cannot, you, ha, you don't need to mask uh, pictures if your camera was moving, but sometimes masking is really useful. We'll go, in, we'll go through next video, we'll go through the masking aspects inside Zephyr with the Masquerade tool um, in the next video. I hope anyway that this video was useful, kind of interesting. Feel free to fill the comments below and don't forget to reach me out at www.metricaltalks.com. Thank you for watching this video and ciao.